You know, I thought I was bipolar for a long time. And I would go and ask these doctors and try to get these mental health diagnoses. And I was fairly certain I was bipolar. But every doctor that I saw disagreed with me. They would say things like, oh, you, um, it looks like you have severe depression. It looks like you have severe anxiety. But no matter what type of doctor I saw, they couldn't give me any answers about why I felt the way that I felt. Like feeling like there was multiple people in one body. Because I can present so well and because I learned to mask so well and because, <laughs> because, because, because it's come to my attention that there's something in the spiritual community called soul walk-ins or soul braids. So essentially an aspect of your higher self is trying to integrate into your vessel. So a lot of the times if you're having like an ego death, like a big ego death and you're noticing personality changes, this can be due to a soul walk-in. And I know I posted a little bit about soul walk-ins a few months ago and I never really followed up because I've been doing my own research trying to understand this. But it has become clear to me at this point that the majority of the beings on this planet right now are experiencing a type of soul walk-in. And probably the most common type is called the abrading of a soul. So it's essentially an aspect of yourself or one of your past lives that wants to come into this vessel and join forces with you so you can be stronger and better. So I'm not saying anyone should like stop taking medication or I'm not saying self-diagnose yourself. But what I'm saying is do your research. And I just wanted to share my experience with this so that, you know, cause it's been really hard. I have felt like I have morphed into like five or six different people in the last decade. Um, constantly changing my appearance, like dramatically changing the way that I dress, my style of clothing, like dramatically, how I speak, the way my handwriting is, like things change and they keep changing. With where we're at in the ascension process, there's actually space for these old ancient wise aspects of ourselves to come into this 3D reality.